I think the problem when you when you start talking about government is, and not that I have a problem with you know whatever the government funds or choose. I think I'm just more so. I do. I think I'm just more so. <laughs> I, got- I think it's just more so how much control I can have over what it is that I do for myself, my family, and how we build up our our own little our own little government. Because when I think about government, I think of control, and government's put in place to control the people. And unfortunately, I think America's government system puts a little bit too much control and enables uh, bad behavior. What's going on? We're glad to have you at another episode of Minding Your Biz podcast. Listen, everything that you hear or see on this podcast episode is for educational purposes only. We have not seen your books. We have not seen your specific situation. Make sure you please seek your financial advisor for anything pertaining to your situation. Peace. Have you ever wondered what's the story behind taxes? Why the poor and the middle class might pay so much and why the business owners pay a little bit to nothing? Well, we are debunking the tax systems and giving you the secrets in this episode. What's going on, everybody? It's another episode of Minding Your Biz. I'm one of your co-hosts, uh, Dr. Black Wealth. Hello, hello. And I am Mrs. Fab Financial. So we uh, let's get into it. How you doing? I'm good. How yeah. are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing good. It's a new year. I'm just on new energy. I love it. Um, you know, there's been some things popping off since the beginning of the year. We done had the Cat Williams situation go down. We done had a whole bunch of stuff go down, right? We ready for tax season. So listen, tax season's here. It's on yeah. my head. Like, boom. It's it's ready. Like, it's we here. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's here. Yep. The Cat Williams thing. I thought it was a good interview. I liked it. I yeah. thought he had a lot of good points, but he's always been a really good storyteller. For sure. And a and a really good comedian. So I don't have no he 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 dropped a lot of gems in in his own way. I thought he was good. And and checking Shannon at the same time. He did. He interviewed himself almost. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did. I would give you that. I, I definitely he almost. He For almost. sure. So what are we talking about today? Taxes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So where do you want to start with this thing? Well, all right. Let's do it. So taxes, uh-huh. I know how you feel about them. Okay. And I know how I feel about them. So here, so. Okay, so the thing with taxes, right, for most people who may not know, but I feel like everybody should know, right, taxes is the uh, almost like a levy system in which the government uh, wants a portion of your earned income. For sure. Right, to go towards um, government projects, things to run and fuel the economy, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And so a portion of that comes from your earned income. Some unearned, right, dividends, interest, income, and that type of thing. And... um, you know, you got to pay it. It's a part of the system in which you live in. So understand and that. that's just how it goes. So I don't think we should. I think we should just stop there. You just got to pay well, it. It's like, no, I'm kidding. I, I know it. <laughs> you know, so under, understand that taxes, um, to my knowledge, taxes is one of the only things that America's income is based off. Federal, state, and city. Right. It's a giant business. It's a giant business. That's Sales. the only place we have income. That's right. Right. So if you look at um, like now, I don't know the number off the top of my head, but we in somewhere in the trillions of dollars in debt. Um, and it's backed against the only income America makes is through the tax system, mm-hmm. which is why we pay income taxes, which is why we should pay so we can pay our bills. Well, I don't agree with that. But <laughs> <laughs> So you but can it's continue to have the things that the government funds and pushes. Like right? what? Uh, industries. Okay. I mean, okay, so on the federal level, right, because right, you got your federal level, your state, and your local. For sure. Right? And I feel like if you're a business owner, like we are, mm-hmm. your your customers and your clients come from what class? Usually the working class. Okay. And most of the working class, I know most of my clients work for the federal government or the local government. They are teachers. They are um, clerk. I have some clerk um, clerks in the system. Mo- a lot are teachers. Um, we have some administrators that work for state and local government. They that's my client base. And so if the government shrinks or changes in any in any capacity, then I lose my client base. So I think as business owners, you need to kind of understand that too. But um, in most states, the federal government is the largest employer. 
And so they help industries and keep the economy afloat, as well as most of your government contracts come from government dollars, which is tax money. Hmm. So if you take if you on you if you on sam.gov, right? And you got a government contract. Right. That contract, that money comes from what? Our tax dollars. Yeah. So they push and help the economy. So if you say, "Well, I don't want to pay taxes." Right? That means in industry you don't you don't want industries and in, in the economy to fuel to me in a sense. You almost want to keep pulling from the system in which you don't want to contribute. Yeah. But then I guess I look at it from a standpoint of, well, let's just say I, I don't know the let's just say we don't know the number of the amount of income America really makes. But I'm sure there's still a lot of people who pay taxes from both rich and down to poor. Right. And yet we still we don't we barely pay teachers, which is which are in charge of the kids to have a better future. We barely pay military. The highest ranking military officer makes a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. Mm hmm. That's pretty sad to me, and they risk their life for it. Every okay, day. so but whose fault is that? Must be the government's. They said it's the not the government. Why is not? It's us locally. It's politics. Is is not involved in politics. Your teachers' pay uh -huh. comes from what pot? The local state government. Mm -hmm. So your state representatives, your general assembly legislation cool. votes on that. Okay. So that's us not being involved in the system, like I always say, okay. to tell the representatives what your primary focuses are. If you want teachers to make more money, right? Prime example, right? You want teachers to make more money. You're like, hey, I think this is something, you know, that we need to do. Right now, and the, it's so funny that this came up first. Georgia bill, I think it's 233. Mm -hmm. 233. Which they it's a voucher system in which they want to basically defund public schools. Mm -hmm. It's a voucher system. They're saying we're going to give every family six thousand five hundred dollars to use that for private or charter schools of your choice, right? Because people are saying, well, I don't want to go to this public school in my neighborhood, which is what we have now. You is by address where you live is the public school in which you go to, which. For sure. And the public school is funded by property taxes okay. and, and income tax from that state. Right. It's, it's funneled both ways. So if you say, well, I don't want to go to my local public school because I don't like what they're teaching. I don't, it's not a good school. It's not this. I want to pull my child out and put them somewhere else. Right. Under a certain amount, if student enrollment falls under a certain amount, right, they start to Collapse classes, mm -hmm. which lay off teachers, mm -hmm. right? Possibly close schools, mm -hmm. right? If the enrollment reaches a cer under a certain point, right? But the focus initially is supposed to be about increasing teachers' pay, mm -hmm. right? And so when we think about where our tax dollars are going, people are voting on this bill like, yup, I want to send my students to where I they want to go. But ultimately, it's defunding public schools. And so I think if you are about helping this country move forward you along with taxes you need to be intentional involved in the process of where your tax dollars are being funneled if you care about veterans and how they get how they get compensated then you need to be involved in how the money is spent and and i and i think some of the issue comes into play because people complain about where government spends their money. And so then they go, well, I'm not going to pay nothing because they aren't paying and disproportionately and putting the money where I feel like it should go, right? Instead of saying, well, I'm going to be involved on where they spend the money so that I can get what I want met. I think the problem when you when you start talking about government is, and not that I have a problem with, you know, whatever the government funds or choose. I think I'm just more so. I do. I think I'm just more so. <laughs> I, got, I think I'm just more so how much control I can have over what it is that I do for myself, my family, and how we build up our our own little our own little government. Because when I think about government, I think of control and governments put in place to control the people. And unfortunately, I think America's government system puts a little bit too much control 
and enables uh, bad behavior. When you think about a government system like Singapore, right, they have like strict laws in their country to enable good behavior, which keeps crime rate down, traffic down. It's almost like 200 something grand for you to buy a car. So it enables you to do what walk, use public transportation. So and gun less, control. Right. So you can't less, even get a gun. It's right. like country. But if you try to bring that here, they would that's over regulation here. That's the talking point here. You're trying to regulate us. It's too much laws, too much in place. Yeah, but you when you look at the system of how the of how like talking about Singapore, when you look at how they run a country and the people that's over there, their their whole e- economic system is just moving like everybody is in a better way of life. In America, we enable things to make money. We we it's a, it's it's a free market economy. Right, but the government enables that. We have we have the government built, enables you to for industry and markets to develop organically how they should. No, the government enables people to do things to where they have control and it recycles. Prime examples. We got all let's just say all the industries and I'm not knocking business owners who made money from restaurants and stuff. Mm-hmm. But we got a billion restaurants that's serving food that's that's in the industry that's regulated that's not necessarily good for us, which keep most of us overweight, unhealthy, which keeps us in the hospitals and those are still regulated by other by governments and people for control and for money. When I think about the Sackler family, multi-billion dollar family, right? And was in control of the opioid uh, epidemic and knew they was in control over the opioid mm-hmm. epidemic and had mm-hmm. no remorse about how they did what they did, paid off people, rule. And we talking about a white lobbyist. We talking about a white family. In front of Congress to, to pass get drugs. Pre- right. But but what is that? Pro- the politics of it matters. How? The people, the, the, the people, they were people. There was a family with money who decided, I want to push government to fund all, my best interests. And I'm going to push that by getting lobbyists and lawmakers to bend to my will. Which means it's more about money and control than it is about government. For sure. The government is doing what it allows the people to do. Which is what? What you wanted to do. If you right. had enough money, you could push the industry to do what you wanted to do. Which versus, always ultimately versus, enables my point. Versus... The communist, some communist countries right. like China, where the government sets the pace. Yeah. Where the United States says, well, the people will set the pace. Now yeah. the people involves people with money and, and without money. So the more money you have, the more access you have to push the things that you want, your own agenda. Which means that we need to be more focused on building up our own economics than relying on the government to do anything for us, in my opinion. All right. Right. <laughs> Just walked into my point. <laughs> I don't know if I did. I feel like I feel like you're saying from I'm saying from the bottom up, and you might be saying from the top down. Maybe. But I think ultimately, I want people to be more involved in the politics in which um, runs and fuels the government. I get it, and I just need more people to be involved in the politics of them making money for their family to <laughs> succeed, <laughs> right? So that they can do have a better way of life, right? And as we debunk this tax system and the tax code um, and what that really means for uh, people to advance themselves today. So you got some historical facts, some history on the taxes when they was brought into play. Yeah, I was just, you know, looking at this episode and I was thinking like Texas, Texas, Texas. What, you know, how did taxes even become about? Right. And so it was used to raise money for the Civil War. Right. North. Uh, came up with it and said, hey, listen, we need to um, get some money to raise money to fight the South. And so they enacted, um, you know, taxes on the property owners. You know, um, let me get my notes. Let me get my notes. Like, I don't have the exact dates because I already, we listened to y'all comments. Y'all was like, y'all need to do y'all research. So I did. (laughs) But I'm, it's all good. So basically, you know, when I was looking at it, I was like, huh, you know what I mean? That, I can see how it still relates today, right? We use taxes to help us do the things we need to do in in, in the country, right? Look at all the things that the government 
uh, does, right? When we even think about streetlights, um, paved roads, public schools, hospitals, industries, um, to help protect people, um, regulate people, whatever. And I go, Dad, that's a similar thing today. We just need to be involved in how the money is spent. Um, then, of course, the people were like, no taxes, no taxes. 1894, um, there was then a new tax created and said that it was unconstitutional, so we need to amend the old one, right? So it was always a fight about taxes. Ta- yeah, it's, it, it rind- reminded me literally of today when I was looking at the history. Like, there were always people on opposite sides of the fence. People were like, no, we don't need taxes. People need to be able to make their money and do what they want. For sure. And then the other side is like, well, no, we need taxes for people who may, don't, who may not make a lot of money, but we still need to raise money to help government run and do what it needs to do. Mm-hmm. So when I'm looking at today and go, dag, that's the same fight we're fighting. Fighting today, there are people, primarily Republicans, that go no, less taxes is possible. People need to take their own money and worry about their own family, right? And most Democrats are like, no, we need to help people who either may not make a lot of money, or in government needs to make money to help people. So I was looking at that like, wow, that's the same fight, and we really um, haven't solved it. We're still <laughs> kind of on opposite ends of the fence. When I look back at the dates from 1872, I don't think it's it the it. same fight. It'll ever be, I don't think it'll ever be solved. It's the same solved. fight. Yeah, it, it, will, it will never be solved just based off how America built this system. Um, and I'm going to take, for this instance, I'm going to take uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of race out of it. I'm just gonna stick on the, on the classism side, right? So when you have, when you, when, if you form a system mm-hmm. and it's designed to have some people, it starts off in the beginning for everybody to equally win. But then you have some players who figure out that they could use this system to control and advance people with more money. And we will and by us advancing, we will, you know, consciously or or or, or subconsciously push back people who we won't advance, meaning keep people poor. You're going to continue to be in that cycle. And because of that large margin, you will never have you, you will never catch up. Even when you put slavery into play, you got. Uh, talk about the Civil War. You got you got people in the South who were plantation owners, and so the distraction will be white plantation owners looking to keep blacks and slaves so that they could. And at some point, I don't even really think it was about the money because some of them probably really wasn't really making a lot of money. They was funded from people in the North in New York who had Jewish people or whoever who had money to send down for, uh, for their funding made black people, properties, insurance, all that stuff. Right. And so when you look at it, we get distracted by the, the slave owner and the plantation owner or the rich and the poor, or even left side, right side with the Republicans things with the, with the Democrats things. And in my eyes, those things become distractions when you got people who are intentionally set out to go out there and win. You got like, for instance, the Rothschilds, you got Meyer Rothschilds. He's like, I care nothing about uh, a nation's in his politics. You sh- if, if I can control the currency, I can control the nation. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So when you when at the end of the day, we need to understand taxes and money and how it works so we can figure out which side of the fence you choose to be on at this point and 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 stride that mantle. I'm with you. I think I think, you know, when you think about two dogs. Right. And you lock them in a the room and you say, well, I'm going to feed both of y'all once a day. Right. We end up fighting. We starving each other out. Well, the. the the owner is starving both of us out. Well, we're locked in a room. Mm-hmm. We're fighting who's going to get the bowl first. Mm-hmm. Instead of us coming together that we both pit bowls. Right. Instead of saying, well, when they open this door, you're going to get them. Let's get out. It's about control. Right. But we so busy fighting over the bowl that they gave us. Yeah. And you and your side might have a window. So I'm thinking your side is better because you got the window. But we both starving in here instead right. of saying, listen, the next time old boy open this door, we going to rush them because we right. both pit bulls up in here. Right. But that's a distraction, right? So we lock them both in the door so they can fight over the same resource, the minimal of resources that we're giving them. For sure. And so that's classism to the fullest, right? So I, with you, I'm, I'm in agreement 100% on that one. We're on the same page with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's my fight or 
plight, however you want to look at it, right, for, for this year. It's too, it's too many of us on the poor side, whether you black, white, Asian, I don't care what it is. It's too many of us that still poor that we have to fight our own mindset to get on the other side to just to just – to just live, Because right? the person who locked us in the door, the person who locked us in the room together, keeps pushing that you're better, I'm better, instead of saying no, we're the same mm-hmm. here, right? And and the person's like, well, I'm gonna put things in place For sure. to keep one person a slightly above the rest, yeah. right? So they can stay distracted while the person keeps locking us in the door. Yeah. And so the thing is that most of the times us as Black Americans know that that's happening. It's the the white folks that feel like the poor white folks that vote against their own best interests, right, that are like, mm, I'm be better than you. <laughs> be used and up be too. And be done. But I f- that goes into, to me, the public school, which is, to me, the largest sinister at play to, to defund the education system. For sure. And if, I you don't have know, a, if you have an undereducated electorate, you can do anything. Yeah, and, and I'm not, I don't know, I really don't know how I feel, like, if I should be like, you know, teachers should get more pay or not. I'm not, like, in that fight. What I am in a fight of So is, you don't think they should get more pay? I think that if they want more <laughs> pay, then they should figure out a way to make more money. My The biggest problem okay. I have with the education system is is the control of what we, what we are mandated to teach kids. That's the problem that I have. Now, I understand that as parents, we are in this thing together. You go to school and I get to teach you at home. You understand? But I don't like the fact of the control of I got to put my kid in this box and this is all we're going to teach him. And throughout schools, you know, all the way up through the college level, you don't depending on the college you go to, you're not you're still not learning the basics, essentials that could really that could really elevate your life. For sure. We don't learn money. Sure. We don't, learn, we don't learn taxes. Not at all. We don't know how the economy really works, right? It's people today don't understand that, That um, and I know we was talking about Robert Kiyosaki today, but when you look at how banks and, and how the economic system works from a fractional reserve system that's controlled by the feds that's a privately held entity adjacent to the government. That's people with money. Again, Meyer Rothschild said, I care nothing about the politics. You give me the, if I can control the currency, I can control the nation. But he care about the politics. He don't. He can tear, he, he's he care using about the, the politics control. to control. That's caring about the politics. He's just telling you he don't care about it. Because you mean, can't control without the politics to get the lawmakers to do what you want to do. And if you care about education, then you get your butt on the school board and you be involved in the politics or you get this money and get your kids in the private school and start teaching them yourself oh lord jesus <laughs> you start teaching them yourself that's what i'm talking about you, you gotta do both you gotta do both traps. so how long is it gonna take you to get money you don't get you don't say well i'm gonna make money in two years it can take you 10 years so during that 10 year you're not gonna be involved you're just gonna say well i'm gonna wait until i make money I mean, but what, well, what does you, that look like? Yeah. Every business doesn't hit. It takes time. So while that's happening, you need to be what involved in the politics that where you're if your kids are right now in a public school, you should be involved. No. So you got to wait till you make money to get involved. Right. Anything. Oh, no, out, Jesus. I, anything outside your. F- <laughs> Y'all tear him up in the comments. No, Y'all tear him up. <laughs> why would you? All right. Check this out. If I even if it take me 10 years. So that means you're going to be. Tapped out, not anything, involved in the system until you... What dollar amount is that? Anything outside of the focus of me elevating my family becomes a distraction. What you do in the school board or at anybody's city hall or I don't care what it is. What if your business is government contracting and they vote into not renew a certain con- a contract or a bill that funds your business? And guess what? If that's your business, then you probably should be involved in that. But I, if you that's should not be my, involved if that's anyway. Not my, no. Your children aren't your my, business. Aren't your children your business? It is. Do they go to public school? They do. Then you need to be involved. I teach because my kids Because the taxes... Home. Okay, no problem. I teach them no when problem. they get to the house. <laughs> 
I, my kids know they know they know what they need to know to get through the school system because by law they got to go to school. And guess what? We do extra education. So what are we home. complaining for anyway? If you're going to self teach them at home, right. then you shouldn't be complaining about the public school. You should I'm say not. you just said you just you said I'm complaining about the system because I don't like that they put my kids in a box and they only teaching them this one thing. For sure. But, but, but if I you're going to the... self educate at home, then you shouldn't be complaining about the system. You should the system is what it is. I'm I'm appreciative of the. Uh, free education even though I don't want to pay taxes and said thing so I'm gonna go home and self teach them so I should just be quiet well hey d- listen I don't I don't agree with how they mandate the or, or um, that's the, what I'm saying the that, 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 that's what y'all think they I, don't, they left. I don't agree with how they set the curriculum on it and I do think it is what it is I think for us to have these these conversations and debates for people to be all heavily or we should be doing this or or they you know we all emotional about the stuff like oh they trying to take black history out of school it was never in the school it definitely was it was never <laughs> in the schools so the republicans down in florida they trying to do this and do that why do you care it's something for us to be distracted by to have a conversation the same people who having conversations about it are the same people who need to be focused on what they need to do to get out of the conditions that they in that's the point i'm making i agree because the game is being played on both sides. Because the, the the they're saying they're talking about Black history. Black history is being pulled out. It was an elective, and they really don't teach it. It's like Black History Month. But I mean, that's that's the the two dogs locked in the room concept. I'm gonna just keep changing it up. But um, y'all still locked in this room together. Yeah. Because what's hap- what happened in Florida and a lot of other places about education and about the bathrooms and the genders and all that stuff is a distraction. That's th- it's not really happening real time, but they're saying it is Yeah. to create what hysteria around so people can vote for them and put them in power. And so my point is, is the more we're distracted period, but you can't listen. You got to look at the bills. What's up to vote and go, Hey, listen, I don't think you need to vote for that. I hear what you're saying, but I'm not agreement. I'm, I'm not in an agreement with that. You got to be involved. You can't just, you just can't sit by idly and go, this is crazy. I'm going to wait till I make all this money and then I'm going to get involved. I, by that time, what if you, I mean, what's his name? He didn't make money since he was in his 60s. Who? Oh boy. I can't think of his the name. The KFC dude? You could go for KFC. Well, did you hear anything about him being in politics before he was 60? I don't know when he got in politics. Yeah, that's what I'm he saying. Probably, it's he, a distraction. Okay, what about the other the other man? What Who? I'm saying is, what if you don't start making money until you're 60? That means you're just not gonna you're not gonna participate in a political system until you have money. Why would you? Oh Lord Jesus! No, I mean just being real. Why would you? Because it affects you. How? I just laid out one. But what changes? Schools. But what changes? Can, all right, we talking about a system where the tax first of all the tax system is a is a pay as you go system right so if we if we are w2 employee i'm paying my taxes along the way every time i get a paycheck that's right i got no control over over what comes out cuz i'm funding my social security right which is which is heavily in debt so we don't even know at what point will we still be able to use social security that's one right right and then as a business owner i like the fact that i have control over the amount of money that i make over the amount of money that I spend mm-hmm. and then over the taxes that I choose to pay from an income tax perspective. Mm-hmm. Now, truth be told, there are still taxes that we're still paying. Every day we pay sales tax. Every day we pay property or every year we pay property tax, right? Um, and if I am em- if I got a business and I got employees, I'm also paying payroll taxes. So I'm not saying that I'm, we're totally removed from the tax system. But what I am saying is, if you're not an ability to be able to take care of your family on your own without anybody's assistance, the only thing you should be focused on is elevating your life. Whether or not you vote, and I'm not pushing to vote or not vote, what I am saying is one of the top priorities, 90% of your attention should be on developing you to become a better person, to make more money. And I understand that everybody's not a business owner. I get that. But somebody in the family... And this is where we where we have a uh, a misconception of how family really well we don't we was we 
we were divided as a people to divide our family. So we have to get back to understanding how our family business should be ran. So even if I'm not the person that starts a business, maybe my cousin and them start a business and I can help out or invest. And when they become a success, right now, the family becomes a success. What I'm saying is, is we need to be about the business of our family situation and improvement of ourselves. And I don't personally think that if I go down to the city hall every month that that's going to change my economic condition at all unless i take control over it because the government is not going to do it you got to be almost broke for you to even get uh assistance in the in the first place i hear you i hear you yeah but i respectfully disagree (laughs) i don't i don't i think you, if you go down and your voice is heard, you can right. go on Facebook, you go on Instagram, you go on all the social medias and let your state representatives know where you feel, yeah. how you feel about the bills that, that they are voting on yeah. because the squeaky wheel gets the oil. And so you can say your your vote doesn't matter because that's what they want you to feel. So so that's, what, that's how they want you to feel. So the people that are making the noise... Their, their bills are going through. They're putting it up for vote because they're like, well, this is what our constituents want. But, but the reasonable people in the middle are like, well, I'm working, I'm working, and so I'm not going to participate. Because they don't have time for that. That's what. No, I, no, I making. disagree. That almost went into last week. You got time. You got time. It's how you, it's how you categorize your time. Listen, the people who sit down at the political arenas have family money and businesses. Everybody else, you don't, you literally, you can't afford to be down at the White House. You don't have to be down there. What you mean? You can send an email. You don't have to send no email. Ain't nobody reading. You almost made me curse. Ain't nobody reading that. You can't send no email. You can't gather the people in your HOA in your community. I don't think so. What you need to gather is these If you can gather all these people, you can gather. I know people can gather. Listen. They gathering for prom season. Right they now. They be having the whole block. I be like, well, what in the prom season? Is she going away? Did she Because that's what's important to them. A mess. The whole block. It's red carpet balloons. They got a Rolls Royce pulling up. No college fund. No insurance. You got time. Yo, they could gather. No. Well, we we know how to gather, but for the wrong thing. But e- but even that, thing. I'm not I'm not in disagreement with that. My point is, is if you focus on that, your only focus should be how to move the family forward. Not giving that's still it's a distraction. It's worth a try. So that means because but we tried it. Well, you gonna stop trying? You could do two things to be right at the same time. I agree. Yes, as people, we need to be focused on how to generate extra money, how to leverage our tax dollars, how to how to do all the things, as well as play into the political arena to help it. I'm gonna tell you like this. We could this. do two things at once. We can only focus on one thing. We are multi-dimensional people that could do several things. You can work on your family. You can try to make money. If it's five of y'all in the family, you can say, listen, I want you to email these people every day and tell them we are against this bill while I focus on this. The same how, same way your loud mouth auntie could go out and gather everybody for prom. Shanene, I'm going to say Shanene, I'm sorry. What's her name? We're going to say Latoya. That's <laughs> a, we'll say Latoya. Latoya. La, Latoya is going on prom, y'all. Come support. We can cat crowdfund for all the things that, to me, are not important. We can definitely crowdfund and bring people together to say, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. Let's send this email. Let's send this. Let us try we can't be so inundated by it don't work. The system is set up against us that we don't even try. We could do multiple things at the same time. So my my for 20, we're going to try. Name this episode, you. try. Please you, try. You better. Please you better, try. You better. Try. I'm going to tell you like this, where I'm looking at. Y'all, you better take a, <laughs> you better take a page out of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King's book. Who tried. He is the epitome. Try. And they kill. I think you should put try under his head. And, he tried. And you got to pay attention to why they killed him. Because he tried. Because his message changed about bringing the people together economically. For sure. So if the black man or poor people have power economically, that's the wrong thing you want to give them. They had, it, it was, more, as you're right, political power there ain't and nothing economic to be said. power. Why did he, how did they push to get the Civil Rights Act amended and put in the Constitution? They didn't have no money. 
They wanted to, they voted that in. Don't they, they it was politics because they wanted to what? Get elected. You need to vote this in. Our people need to be equal. And all them bills. Be, we need to be covered. All under them bills law. is good for the paper it's written on. Because I still got to walk into an institution and be denied funding because I'm black. Yet, there's a law in place for that not to be the case. I still got to walk in the institution mm -hmm. and ask for a job and be denied a job. Yet, there's discrimination laws in place. Of course. It ain't good. It ain't as good as the paper is written on. No, it's still good. Yeah, we sitting here uh, in this black-owned business with these black cameramen and on this with they this black, black microphone. They have black here. businesses. They've been have black businesses though that allow us to have the voice we have today. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was black black people. So we didn't even need the Voting Rights Act. We don't had no gains from the Voting Rights Act that protected religion, class, marital orientation. Did it really though? Oh, okay. Did well, it really though? Well, y'all, oh, no, maybe not. They give you something maybe to, not. Give you, to give you, to maybe what, take didn't. more control. They make you maybe think you didn't. Win. They make you maybe think you didn't. won to still kind of set you back. All you, right. You think you ahead and you just peddling and ain't going nowhere. Well, I wasn't born in the 60s, but I feel like I'm better off today. You might be. All right. So I'm, I, but I, then I'm going to give Do Dr. Martin Luther King, who tried right. and got some and got the voting rights Listen, act and the civil rights in there this the when we break it down we talk about the secrets of the secrets of the tax code mm -hmm. on one hand the more control you can have over your situation which in america ownership and business ownership is one of the only ways you can do that i'm not gonna say it's the only way but mm -hmm. it's one of the only mm -hmm. ways that you can mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. in the system where if i'm a business owner like I said, I get to choose what it is that I do. I get to choose how much money I make. I get to choose the expenses that I take, right? Which is why the tax code is is here's here I give you I give you one. Here's my agreement with politics tax code. All right. If you submit to what the to what the laws is and use it to your advantage and not your disadvantage, you will always win. The tax code is written for business owners. It's written for us to succeed. It's written for us to win. Mm -hmm. Why? Because people put that in place for them to win. So I ain't mad at the system. And, how, and how did they that do system. that? They put laws, which is funded. I mean, lawmakers, politics, to say, hey, listen, as business owners, we yeah, want to. We, we don't have put time. It, we don't have time to, right, to no debunk problem. that history. No problem. Because the people who in control knew the government was trying to control. So guess what they did? They put laws in place to make sure that they still benefit. We pay Congress. Congress got a standing salary. I don't know how much they make. Oh, got to be. It's, it's like 200000 starting at one. Right. Six figures. And they, they come from families that's making way more than that. And then at the end of the day, when you look at it, the Republican Party and the Democratic Party, them $2 billion parties. For sure. But not everybody. Not everybody. Not everybody. Our works. state, some of our state uh, representatives, they don't come from no money. We get Marjorie Taylor Green. She had woman don't come from no money, but <laughs> leave her out right of it. John Ossoff, he got a couple dollars. For uh, sure. Raphael Warnock. These people aren't billion dollars. You know, they. Yeah. Some of them do now because we had Purdue. His family came from heavy money. That's why his. Anyway. However, I get what you're saying. But the people voted these people in, and they need to hear from you. But the tax code is definitely set up to benefit business owners. It sure is. I'm 100%. We on the same page with that. And so I understand why you're like, hey, as a business owner, to leverage and keep more of your money, I mean, as a as a, as a, a taxpayer, to yeah. leverage and keep more of your money, you should have a business. Yeah. That's a great strategy. And I am just, not opposed to that. And you, need, you we, we really need to understand it. Because what happens is, is we got, as we get ready to close this thing out, what happens is, is you have people who are business owners, which the tax code is written for, which we already explained. Mm -hmm. Then you have people who look for their ways to make a better way of life, which is becoming, let's just say, middle class or make, let's just say, a few million dollars. So you got professions that we push, especially a lot of poor people, uh, doctors. I want to say lawyers, but all lawyers ain't made equal. But doctors, <laughs> lawyers, right, engineers, good professions, nothing wrong with the professions of it. But when you look at it, those are the people who start to, who begin to say, listen, I'm, I, I pay the most taxes. I can't tell you the countless of people, and you know too, who taxes that we do, and they like, I make this 
m- amount of money, two hundred, three hundred, six hundred thousand. And they say a what? Year. I don't want to pay no taxes. They don't want to, but they but they don't understand why they still paying taxes because they figured if they made it out. Right. They don't have to pay taxes and they coming from a family who used to getting refunds because they don't make no money. Yeah, that's that's a mindset shift. Right. Which is a mindset shift for the culture. The more you make, the more taxation is going to be is your burden. Right. Right. You're making six figures. Your tax liability is definitely going to be above 40,000. Yeah. For the year. You know, and so I, I get that. And so that's why understanding taxes is important and how that and how that works. But I think to me coming full circle the holistic approach for it approach of it is is changing your mindset you have to contribute into the system that you pull from now i'm not saying that you shouldn't fight and say well you know what i don't want to pay all of this but i don't think you should if you i don't think you should go well i don't want to pay no taxes i'm gonna file exempt all year and i'm not gonna pay anything i feel like that's a really poor selfish mindset to have when you when you benefit from the system um, and pull from it that you don't want to contribute to so that that's how I go about. It. That's how I feel. I feel like you you should contribute. If in filing exempt and not paying your your taxes and your share to me is a poor mindset. Yeah. Um I mean, because you got those people who do go exempt. I don't I yeah, listen, I don't disagree with it. All I'm saying is if you're going exempt, you just want to follow follow the rules that they put in place for us to to somewhat legally come out on top. Start you a business. Start you a side business. Start you a side hustle. Fund somebody's business. Invest in somebody's business. Please get some real estate. There's more than one get way to skin this cat. Yeah. And and real estate is going to be the that's the ultimate wealth uh strategy for yeah. you to pay no taxes or little no taxes at all. But that's understanding how taxes work, which we even though we went back and forth on the poli- the politics of taxes today, we still you got some understanding of how taxes work in the sense, right? Um and how you could use it to your advantage. So, um, listen, you want to make sure that uh, we broke down the tax secrets of the wealthy and the poor, <laughs> for that matter, right? And you want to make sure that you just use the tax system for it to work for you. Get yourself out your condition. Get yourself some business about yourself, right? Understanding the taxes that you paying or not paying, if you choose not to do that, just understand it. Right. And uh, and make sure y'all continue to come back for more. Like, share, subscribe and leave some comments. Y'all, we read the comments of the last section. So we like the feedback. Right. Good, bad, indifferent. That's what we here for. We growing. Yeah. yeah all that. All what he said. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see y'all in the next episode. Y'all peace.